Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Ethereum using logarithmic regression. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Remember to check out the sale on the premium list. You can find a link to that in the description below as well. Lock in the lower rate. Thank you guys for tuning in. So where are we in terms of our regression model? Well, this is the model we used in the accumulation phase. So this is a key model for identifying the best time to accumulate Ethereum, historically speaking. And, and we can see that it, it surely did stand the test of time. And, and while there were a lot of little bunny hills in these areas, um, you know, all these little bunny hills that happened, at the end of the day, this was just a, a, a great accumulation time for Ethereum. Now, looking back though, we, we, you know, it, it, we always said what well, we're gonna look back and, and, and recognize what a great accumulation time it was, but now where are we today? Well, what we can do is we can look at our Ethereum logarithmic regression rainbow. This is uh, something we've discussed before. And you may wonder what is the reason for this? At the end of the day, you know, these are lines on a chart, nothing more, nothing less. But the idea is that it gives us some type of speculation or benchmark as to what is theoretically possible in the short term uh, or for say the duration of the market cycle. Now to best understand what we might anticipate for Ethereum, we should probably start with Bitcoin, a similar logarithmic regression model. Now remember with Bitcoin, and again, patterns can change over time, but if you look, if you look at Bitcoin over the macro scale, you can see the first peak occurred up in the red logarithmic regression band. The second market cycle peaked occurred in the purple one, and then this one occurred all the way down here. And, and we talked about, you know, so far this cycle has had a lot more intra-cycle volatility, and that it's certainly possible that, that, that Bitcoin is able to go up more regression bands. But if history is any indication, then we may not be able to make it to the prior regression band that corresponded to our last peak. Um, and so at the very least, it would seem like this regression ban is unobtainable in the short term, okay? And, and basically unobtainable forever. Now, saying anything forever is, is obviously some, somewhat of a recipe to make it happen. Um, but when we look at this, we, we, we should probably look to see, okay, well, where would the price be if we were to go to that regression ban for Bitcoin? Well, for Bitcoin, it would be no less than $114,000 today. But again, these are moving up every single day. Every single day, these are moving up. Now, let's go look at it for Ethereum. Okay, let's go look at it for Ethereum. If you guys follow this channel for the last couple of years, I always speculated that at the very least, the purple regression band was theoretically possible. The purple one was theoretically possible this cycle. And the reason I said that was, well, we can look at the prior move by Ethereum and at the very least go down a couple of regression bands and see where does that ultimately peak out? Well, where it currently is, if we, if we get an idea of where the, the regression band currently tops out, it would be at around almost $5,800, okay? Now, you, you might be wondering again, well, does that mean Ethereum can never go above $5,800? Well, certainly not. First of all, it could break the model. Second of all, these regression bands are moving up every single day. So while it might cap out at 57 or 5,800 today, you should also recognize that back in June, it capped out at around 15 or 1,600. So it's moving up all the time. It's moving up all the time. With that said, with that said, we don't want to discount the possibility of moving to the next regression band. There's certainly a possibility that Bitcoin does that itself. Uh, this band would take us all the way up to 10K. And personally, I think that a $10,000 Ethereum is theoretically possible this market cycle, but I don't necessarily think it's going to happen without a, a consolidation phase in between. Okay, so we've had consolidations before this cycle. We had not nearly as long as last cycle so far. I mean, this one lasted for about a year. This one was about half a year. But, you know, you can see this one right here lasted for from April until until July. We had another one here that lasted from August until November. These are periods of sideways movement. We had a very brief one from early February till the end of March. So, I, you know, I would say that I think I think 10K is theoretically possible. I mean, I wouldn't bet the family farm on it by any means. Of course, this is not financial advice. We might not make it there. But if it is possible and if it does happen, I don't know that we can immediately go there without having some type of breather in between. OK, um, and so, you know, to go up to to the top of this purple band, we could go up the valuation of Ethereum could go up another 
you know, 45% or so, 45% and still be within the purple band. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys were following the channel back over here and, and just dreaming of, of making this move through the gray band that, that we crossed it at $782. Through the yellow band, we crossed above that one at $1,500. We crossed above the orange one at $3,300 about. And, and so you can see how far we have come in a very short period of time. So this is just looking at, at some level of Ethereum logarithmic regression and saying, you know, it's probably unlikely that we make it to the same band that we peaked at last cycle, which actually went slightly above it. Currently, that one, if you're curious, it currently ranges from $10,581 to $19,423. So that doesn't mean that Ethereum can't make it to 10K. It just means it's very, it's not likely to happen tomorrow because this band is going to continue to run away from us and only going to get further and further away from 10K. Um, and so that's just something to keep in mind. Now, it's interesting when you when you look at this chart because it always seems like it always seems like you know these these moves are, are just not possible to happen when we were when we were over here. A lot of people didn't really believe that we could go up to up to these levels, and here we are. Okay, and here we are. Well, in the same manner, at some point, at some point, there you know there will be a, a nice sizable correction. Um, that'll turn a few stomachs, of course, and then people won't imagine that we can come back down a bit. So I, I would say, you know, make sure you manage your risk in these markets. Obviously, obviously, the entire market is is very heated right now, and we recognize that Ethereum, the Ethereum tsunami, is in full effect. We've discussed the idea of this thing coming for for years and years. The idea that hey, the Ethereum tsunami will come at some point. It's just a matter of time. You are currently living through it while Bitcoin has bounced and is still below the prior all time high, but it bounced off that 100 day moving average. Okay, so Bitcoin is yet to break into the gray regression band, which would be one regression band short of where it was last time. And Ethereum right now is is, you know, basically in the middle of the purple regression band, which is two away from basically where it peaked last time, maybe even, you know, two and a half if you if you wanted to paint another another regression band there. So I would say let's let's see if Ethereum can break four thousand dollars. We are coming up on a weekly close. That's gonna be pretty important for us to see what's going to happen with that. But if you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Also remember to check out the premium list sale in the description below. Lock on the lower rate. Thank you guys for tuning in. Definitely subscribe. Thank you guys I'll see you next time. Bye.